Hey guys, welcome to another video for SimonsVideo.com and my name is Simon Tay and today I'm going to do another Clash of Clans strategy part 79 and it's to teach you on how to play Clash of Clans on your Mac OS X desktop and Windows as well. Okay, there's a couple of ways that you can actually run Android on your uh, Mac OS X or Windows. For the Windows, I'll highly recommend BlueStacks but for the Mac OS X in order to play uh, this uh, Clash of Clans, you need to use uh, this Genie Motion to run the Clash of Clans. Uh, the reason because BlueStack is not updated to uh, you know change the device to a battle device to be compatible with Clash of Clans. So for this particular uh, demonstration is for the Mac users and it's uh, very easy to install. So I'm going to teach you on how to install it uh, very very quickly. Go to this website called the geniemotion.com. From here, you need to uh, register an account in order to download uh, this free Genie Motion uh, Android emulators. So sign up a free account uh, with a valid email address. Uh, after you sign up, try to log in to Genie Motion uh, after activation via the email. And after that, you can uh, safely go to download the Genie Motion on top right side. The button, uh, click that, and you will go to the download page. From here, you can see there's a couple of different uh, download platform. Uh, first of, um, you can see the top side there's a Windows 32 slash 64 with VirtualBox. The bottom is without. Virtual box. You need to manually uh, download Virtual box. I'll explain later. For now, I'm, I'm just downloading the Mac OS X 64 bit version. And uh, from the top side, you can see that this Windows 32 64 bit uh, download link include Virtual box 4.2.12. So you do not need to uh, manually download Virtual box. Uh, Virtual box is another uh, emulator kind of things. I'll explain later. Now you can uh, open up this uh, downloaded uh, file and drag and drop the application as usual for Mac. Installation is very simple, just drag and drop into the application folder. Uh, apparently, I, I already have the application, so this is just a demonstration. Okay, go to virtualbox.org uh, and this is the uh, very powerful, uh, I would say, uh, virtual platform. You can install this for the OXX host which is for Mac or you can install it for the Windows version that is provided you downloaded the bottom uh, part for the Genie Motion that does not include VirtualBox. Okay, this VirtualBox one is downloaded the same thing, open it up and uh, install it. Uh, the installation is slightly different from the normal uh, OS X uh, installation. There's a package icon you need to double click and enter your password for this uh, Oracle VM virtual uh, box installation but apparently I've already installed it so you need to run it in um, in the application folder first off I'm gonna look for the Genie Motion application and run it uh, at this application folder just double click it and it should run very very quickly okay I've already added one virtual devices so I'm gonna teach you on how to add uh, additional virtual devices press that and uh, reconnect to your genie motion account which you have already registered and here you can see there's a, a various number of uh, devices that you can download and uh, you know emulate so i will recommend highly recommend those uh, uh 4.2.2 for now uh until the the new version comes out 4.3 that's a preview but do not use that because you need to have a with google apps uh, included with the API 17. The Google Apps is the one that allows you to download uh, from Google Play Store and that is very important for you to actually try to run application uh, that you can download using your Google account. Right, so I'm trying out this Galaxy S4 with uh, this uh, Google Apps included. Uh, this is uh, resolution is slightly larger, so I actually regretted um, download uh, trying this out because it's the resolution is too big for my uh, you know my computer screen uh, resolution. So um, it's better to get about seven twenty one to eight zero is much better off 
for a lower resolution uh, computer setting right so now I've already installed it now open up your virtual box as well uh, from here you can see that uh, I have the previous uh, Galaxy Nexus 4.2.2 and uh, Galaxy S4 HTC so remember set your base memory to 2048 you can set as much as you want but uh, 2048 is uh, recommended for uh, gaming video memory is about the uh, 128 video memory remember to set that as well the reason why you need to set all this up is to increase the performance of this uh, Android emulation so that your Crash of Clans will not crash uh, so often. Okay, once you've done that, you can open up your Genie Motion and select from the list of virtual devices and press play. And I've selected the Galaxy S4 uh, with 4.2.2 with Google Apps. And this is the one that I'm emulating. The setting up is very similar to setting up a new Android phone. Select the language that you want to uh, choose. And and of course if you want set up a gmail account and of course if you want you can also you know set up your google account eventually you still have to uh, set it up but uh, uh, skip it through to uh, make this demo a little bit faster uh, put your username or your uh, your name that is associated to this uh, android and after that it's basically that's it you, you need to learn how to use it very simple uh, find this uh, uh, any application press and hold you can just drop into the main page as a shortcut key if you still have problem you can search on youtube to find out more about android so i'm going to look for the play store and press and hold drag and drop into the main page i do not like this clock change to a digital clock and uh, i'm going to add a google account i have an existing email address from google if you have a gmail account you already have a google account so do not worry about not having one right so uh after signing in all the Google account tie into every single Google application so you have a sign in for Google Play as well so now I'm going to search for Crash of Clans which is the main priority for this video you can download any application you want some application is not uh, very stable uh, Crash of Clans does uh, sometimes crashes after a few minutes but after you change the, the system memory to 2048 to gig uh, to end the video memory 128 uh, it should be slightly more stable uh, and remember do not try this on a lower RAM uh, hardware uh, otherwise you'll be very very laggy okay from here you can see that uh, Crash of Clans is starting up very very smoothly and it's loading uh, actually speed up a little bit and I'm gonna cut short this intro back to the part where uh, you know I can actually play the game very smoothly uh, Okay, I'm done with this and uh, I can actually load up my previous game uh, using the Google uh, Plus account. I've just not uh, been playing this until like Town Hall 2. So you can actually uh, restore your previous game using the Google Plus account, just like Game Center. Uh, you'll save your progress into like Game Center. It's the same thing as the Google Plus account. So after I log into my Google Plus account, uh, you uh, know recommend me to uh, you know you lose my current progress, which is the start starting up progress. I say okay, and now I'm loaded up to my Town Hall to um, Clash of Clans, which is pretty cool. And the amazing thing, you can zoom in and out uh, by pressing the command button, click and drag left or right to zoom in and out, which is very, very usable. Uh, however, the deployment of troops uh, is a little bit tricky because you cannot do multi-touch deployment. However, it's still very playable. Uh, you can also buy gems too. So I've uh, just tested out uh, and shown to you that you can, in fact, buy gems uh, using the Google Play uh, tie-in with the Google Wallet account. Uh, you can just confirm and once you set up a Google wallet account that is tied into your debit card or credit card you can in fact buy gems uh, but unfortunately I don't believe there is any iTunes gift cards on the Google wallets uh, if there is any do let me know so basically that's it for this uh, genie motion for the Mac but I believe you can also install it on Windows as well um, and sometimes it does crash often but it's still very very playable
Well, basically that's it for this video. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and check out the previous video and a free gems video to support this channel. Thank you very much for watching. See ya. Bye bye.